Hello, good morning. Welcome everybody. Oop, that was a loud clap. Sorry, I kind of like, <laughs> I might have scared myself on that one. Um, anyway, yes, welcome to another Facebook Friday, a Frilici Friday. Uh, let's see, what's going on around here? It's kind of dark and dreary outside. I guess I thought maybe we were going to get some rain, but I, they said we're not getting any rain because today is actually homecoming, well, homecoming weekend, right? So we have a parade tonight at five o'clock and then the football game at the high school. And then my daughter Lily is actually going to be going to the homecoming dance tomorrow night. So she's just a freshman in high school and she's already kind of getting much more into all of this than Cade is. Hello, good morning. I'm trying to see there. Hi, Marianne. Good morning. I was like, oh no, are my little comments going to pop up? But yay, I'm glad you can join us, Marianne. Um, yeah, so anyway, so Cade has not embraced quite so much the whole school spirit thing. So he's not going to homecoming again for the second year, which I'm kind of bummed about, but Lily's going. So we have to get her hair all done and her little bit of makeup and we found a cute dress for her so anyway she's kind of excited about it and then one of her good friends so they're going like as a group a bunch of freshman boys and girls are all going together which is totally the way it should be right um but then one of those boys who is one of her very good friends asked her to like go to homecoming with him so we made this cute little sign at school this week what did it say it was something um, I, he knows that she likes those Sour Patch Kids, so he got her a couple of boxes of Sour Patch Kids and then he made this little sign and it said something like, um, don't make homecoming sour, make it sweet and go with me. So it was just kind of a cute little thing. And then she loves those Sour Patch Kids, so <laughs> that might have sealed the deal, but it's cute. I mean, they've been in, they have known each other since like three-year-old preschool. So they have like basically grown up together. So they're just very good friends, but I'm like, oh, you never know. He's such a nice boy. Maybe something will <laughs> come of that. So anyway, yeah, homecoming this weekend. And then actually the one day retreat is tomorrow also. So I apologize. I know, I think I feel like I always have an excuse. Like, <laughs> that's cute, Marianne. Um, I always have an excuse for my, my, like I'm kind of flaky and flighty, but that's my excuse this week is homecoming, the one day retreat, and then lots of stuff going on next week too, it feels like. So anyway, lots and lots of stuff going on. Oh, and then the other awesome thing. So last weekend we were at Creative Convention. So this is um, basically like a, a mini convention that um, Rhonda Wade is her name. So she's one of our top um, Stampin' Up! demonstrators. I used to be in her downline and then everyone in the Inkspired Stampers group used to be in her downline too. But we had changes in the compensation plan a couple of years ago. So we're not technically in her downline any longer, but she still welcomes us in and includes us in lots of things. So um, we still have the opportunity to be able to go to this creative convention along with lots of other people too. So it's a great place, lot, any demonstrator that wants to come um you know it fills up quickly so you never know but um i always try to encourage hi kim good morning anybody in the inspired stampers group to come with me too because we did um i think we made 24 make and takes between like friday and saturday and then there's lots of other there's business training um and i say business kind of lightly because you know a lot of people just buy that starter kit to get the discount on things so they definitely kind of shared information that might help um, people that just consider themselves like hobby demonstrators, um, you know, to be able to kind of use, uh, not necessarily so much in a business sense, because a lot of times I think that kind of scares people, but basically, you know, so you can get your stuff at a discount, maybe share um, that opportunity with others so that they could get a discount if they bought the starter kit, or just take orders from friends and family to help you keep your minimums up. So they just, there was so much stamping, so much information, it was awesome. I love this creative convention. We go every year, it's usually like August, September time frame. So um, if you're in the Inkspired Stampers group, like keep it in mind for next year because I'd love to have you join us. And if you're not in the Inkspired Stampers group, just buy the starter kit and then you can be a part of it and then you can come with us. So um, let's see. Oh, you know me. I got to check my notes. What else? What else? What else is going on? You know what? Let's, I want to jump right in. We're going to do our first drawing for, this was, um, they call this the Copper and Mary Merlot. It's the reversible. You're not really going to be able to see the shimmeriness in there. I actually have this other card. I, I don't know if I've showed you guys this yet or not, but I don't know if you can see the underneath 
those little sprigs. Can you guys see that is the copper? I'm not gonna be able to, I don't wanna bend these too much, but there, can you kinda, I don't know, can you kinda see it? Anyway, when you get it in the right light, which it's not great light in here today because it's not very bright outside. Hi, Nancy, watching on time, good for you, that's awesome. So anyway, I did a YouTube video on this card too. You may have seen, I don't know, it's got that fun, oops. I'm trying to do that, got like a fun fold on it too. So check out the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio YouTube channel if you wanna know how to make this card, dimensions, measurements, it's super simple. Um, but anyway, my point in showing you that really was the ribbon. So that's what we're giving away this week. One entry for commenting, and then three entries if you shared the video. And because we didn't do it last week, I just kept it going and going. So there were lots of comments and lots of shares. So I don't know if you guys can see, there are lots and lots of entries in here. So this is funny. So Kim, you're watching. I think the past two weeks your name has been drawn. And I always say, you know, I'm like really shaking these up. So it's totally random. I mean, it, uh, it's just crazy how you can draw the same person's name two weeks in a row. So let's see. I don't know. Maybe I've jinxed her now. Hopefully not. I don't know. But everyone gets a fair chance. But the more you comment and the more you share, the better your chances still, right? Okay. So let's see. Let me find one, 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 one piece. Okay. I've got it. Miss Mary Ann McGinnis, and I know you're watching. Congratulations, Mary Ann, that is awesome. So I have, I've got this, and then I think I still have your glimmer uh, paper, so I need, I'm gonna get both of those sent out. Um, yeah, I know why, because I always kinda wait to send, you put an online order in too, so I kinda wait and get all that together and send it to you at once, so when I'll get that all accumulated and I'll get that out to you. So congratulations, Mary Ann, you're gonna have lots of fun stuff to play with. So, let me scoot those things out of the way, and what is next? I think I want to show you guys what we are going to give away this week. Okay, <laughs> you're welcome, Marianne. Um, okay, so this is, this is a black glittered organdy. You can see the glitter in there too, can't you? The glittered organdy ribbon. So one entry for commenting, and then three entries. If you share the video, just make sure you make a little comment about how much fun, how fabulous this video is, and why everyone should watch it too. Uh, then you get three entries in the drawing. So to win this ribbon, and I'll show you, I know I showed you guys this, but this is that ribbon kind of up close. Can you see? So it's kind of a see-through-y, that organdy. Can you kind of see that? It's so, there's that cute tree. I have a YouTube video on that one too, too. Or that one, two, 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 two. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, but that's the ribbon. So super cute, I love. Uh, if you're making anything for Halloween, or this would even be great on like Christmas presents too, that pretty black, very classic. Um, that'd be awesome on Christmas presents too. So we will do the drawing for that next Friday. We'll be here next Friday. I think we're back on track for a while. I've got a weekend retreat, but that's not till November. So, you know, unless something unforeseen comes up, we are Facebook Fridays every single week for the next, um, gosh, about month and a half, two months. So yay, that's awesome, because I miss it, oh my gosh. When I have to prepare after I've not done it for like two weeks, I'm like, God, how do I do this again? <laughs> so it's kind of funny, but yeah, I'm, I'm back in the swing of things now. So yes, and oh, I need to give a quick shout out. So Ms. Sharon Greening, who is a part of the Inkspired Stampers group, became a qualified recruit this month in September. So what does that mean? You're like, what's a qualified recruit? Well, basically she bought the starter kit, so she's a part of the Inspired Stampers, and then when she um, accumulates $900 in sales, she becomes a qualified recruit, which is awesome, because then if you're in the Inspired Stampers group, you get a $25 shopping spree from me for um, getting to that level. Plus, she's also halfway to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales, and at that point, you get 25% off all your orders instead of just 20%. So congratulations, Miss Sharon. You are on your way, halfway to Bronze Elite, probably even more by now right um what else oh i know okay this um was the drawing the the um giveaway from facebook friday a couple of weeks ago last time we saw each other this um warm i'm trying to read it backwards too you guys are trying to read it backwards also warm hearted host stamp set so super cute stamp set we've got it says boo boo so for halloween there's one that says cheers to the new year um, there's one that says Merry Christmas and thanks. 
and then a bunch of other kind of fun stamps, embellishment, image kind of things that'll go with each of those sentiments. So this is a great stamp set. Obviously it's kind of, it covers lots of holidays and then the thank you as well. So this is host stamp set in the holiday catalog. So if you don't win this today in the drawing, you can always get this free with your host rewards. When you spend at least $150, then you qualify for host benefits. So. $150 gets 10% in host benefits, so um, that's $15, and I'm sure this, I don't think this stamp set even costs $15, because those host rewards that are in the back of both the holiday and the annual catalog, they always price them really well, so you get lots of, I always say, more bang for your buck, basically, um, with those host rewards. So, and you can get the host items as host benefits, or if none of that floats your boat, then you don't have to get that, you can get anything you want out of the catalog, so just so you guys um, are aware of how host benefits work. So anyway, so I kind of say the, the, the drawing loosely because we actually only had one online order this week. So the stamp set, oh, I'm drawing this one name, right? Goes to Miss Heidi Sue Parsons Moore is the winner of the Warm Hearted Host Stamp Set. So woo, 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 congratulations, Miss Heidi Sue. I will have this stamp set for you down at the studio to pick up, okay? And... Then you guys want to see what we're going to give away this week. So this is such a cute stamp set. And I don't think you can, well, I'm going to show you guys it, but it's not done justice in the catalog either, I don't think. This is the Hung With Care. This is another host stamp set. So this is red rubber. The other one was photopolymer. So you could pick either wood mount or clear mount. I'm obviously giving the clear mount away, but if you don't um, qualify to win this stamp set next week, if you're interested, you can get it either wood, wood mount or clear mount. But can you see it says that pretty scroll, it says, and the hockey, <laughs> And the stockings were hung. Here I am and then I'm shaking it, right? And the stockings were hung and then all those super cute stockings. Aren't those fun? And then there's another one that says Merry Christmas in backwards there, right? And then more, there's a candy cane stocking and then those cute little, they almost look like little clogs, don't they? <laughs> so cute. So again, if you put an online order in between now and next Friday's um, face, well, not next Friday, let me get my let me get my wording here. Between now and next Wednesday at midnight, your name goes in the drawing to win the Hung With Care host stamp set. And I'll show you, um, because like I said, I kind of flipped right past it, and then when I ordered it and it came in, and I was like, oh, look at how cute that is. I think it's maybe kind of because they don't, they were not able to do too many samples um, that catch your eye. So there's the host stamp set in the catalog. And then there are a couple of cute, um, or maybe it's just because it's the very last page of the catalog too, that by the time you get there, you're so overwhelmed with everything that you want that you don't even see that stamp set. So anyway, I just, I think it's somehow it's cuter <laughs> in the stamp set itself than it is in the catalog for me, for some reason. So anyway, yeah. Um, put an online order and your name goes in the drawing to win this whole stamp set. Next Friday, we'll do that drawing, okay? Um, you know me in my notes. Let me do a quick peek here. Um, oh, I already showed you that. Okay. Um, oh, I know what else. So in addition to um, getting your name in the drawing for that um, Hung With Care stamp set, you also are going to get a sample of, this is the Dashing Along, this is the Host Designer Series paper that is available right now. If you put, so it's kind of a Mac Daddy order. You have to put a $250 order in and then you get a full pack of this Designer Series paper. This is a promotion that's been going on all month long, but I decided, um, because I'll tell you a little secret, um, September 30th is the last day of our calendar year, I guess you call it, or anyway, whatever, our year through Stampin' Up. And um, there's always kind of a push to kind of meet goals, obviously, at the end of the year. And I am a little bit shy of a sales goal that I was really hoping to meet by September 30th. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna give like a little added extra incentive. So if you put in an online order, it has to be by September 30th. So I think today's the 28th, so you have Friday, Saturday, Sunday. In the next three days, if you put an online order in, you're gonna get a sampler of this dashing along host designer series paper 
in addition to your name going in the drawing to win that hung with care stamp set and then you're always going to get the projects that i demonstrate on facebook live plus if your order is over 50 dollars, you always get a free embellishment too so you can get tons of free stuff from me right now so i keep trying to show you so here's the one side of the of the designer series paper sometimes i try to talk way too fast and then maybe i can pull it out this way because then these this is the other side of the designer series paper so and I love can you guys see it's kind of like newspaper print but it's in garden green is kind of the print color usually we do that in a black and then there's some fun diagonal stripes and some other kind of fun poinsettia and then here again is the <laughs> the flip side I'm like I can't see what I'm doing so anyway like I said I'm I'm just a little bit shy of that sales goal so if you're thinking that you need something out of the holiday catalog or maybe you've still got a long wish list from the annual catalog if you put that order in in the next three days you're gonna get a sample of the dashing along designer series paper if you should happen to put that Mac Daddy order in over $250, you're gonna get a full pack of this for free. I'll send you some other good stuff unless you want more of this, you let me know. So anyway, I, I just really appreciate too, I have to say this because it has been an amazing year. Every year continues to be better and better and better. Um, so I think I keep setting these higher and higher goals for myself too. So I'm close, I'm really close, but I'm not quite there. So any help you can give me, I would greatly, greatly appreciate. And I just so appreciate your support all year round, watching the Facebook Lives, coming to classes, being on the present and you know, kind of a part of things on the Facebook group. I love all of that. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Um, I just, I love doing this and I love sharing it with everybody. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, okay, let's see what else do we have. Um, gosh, I went through that. I think my notes are little. Oh, I know one more thing. Another reason why maybe you need to get an order in by September 30th. So that's Sunday at midnight Salt Lake City time. So midnight Mountain Standard Time. If you put an order in, again, you get that that um, sampler of the Dashing Along Host Designer Series paper. But the other reason, this is what I'm trying to say, the reason why you wanna put that order in by September 30th is if you have any of those bonus day coupons. So if you remember in July when you spent $50, you got a free bonus day, I'm sorry, in August. When you spent $50 in August, you got a bonus day's coupon to use in September. Don't forget those. Make sure that you use those by September 30th. So you just have three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, to use those bonus day coupons too, okay? Um, all right, I think we are ready to move the camera. I'm kind of scanning around to make sure here. Let me do one last quick peek at the... Um, at my notes to make sure but I don't think there was any. I've got more awesome stuff to show you guys though too I'll tell you that um, it was hard I had so much to show you I'm like I cannot talk forever um, no one wants me to do that for too long right I know but I'm like what do I show you guys because I have so much we've been doing so much with all the swaps and then the creative convention so I have so much to show you guys so let me just I don't know why this is taking me my brain is like eh, 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 eh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just taking me a while to make sure I've got it all covered, but I think we are good. Okay, so turn your heads away for a sec. I'm gonna put the camera down and then I'll show you some more good stuff that won't be backwards any longer, right? Okay, bear with me one sec. Turn your heads away, here we go for a ride. Okay. Okay, you guys got the ceiling right now and we're gonna flip it down. Okay, I have to adjust some things a little bit here. Ooh, oh my, my little guy is, <laughs> I think we're okay. There, got big shadows today. All right, that's okay. So I want to do a quick peek at our calendar for, well, I'm already on October. Well, you guys already know. So back up here on September 29th is tomorrow, right, is our one day retreat and our holiday stamp -a stack class. So um, I will be showing you guys lots of fun stuff. I didn't, I was trying to, that was one of the things I was trying to decide was whether I showed you what we were giving away and making um, tomorrow. But then I decided I didn't want to spoil it for anybody that's going to be at the one day retreat tomorrow. So I'll show you everything from this weekend on next Friday's Facebook Live. So we have bingo next week on Thursday. 
I do have room for a couple more people. So if your schedule has changed, if you're freed up, if you wanna come play bingo with us, that is on Thursday, October 4th. It's from six until nine, but you need to let me know um, by this weekend if that's something that you wanna do because I need to start prepping um, all the treats and everything for everybody on Monday, okay? Then the following week, we have our Simple Beautiful Card class, always the second Wednesday of the month, so that's October 10th from five until nine, and then two days later on Friday afternoon from one until three. The next week is our group gathering down at the Stamp Studio. Anyone that's a part of the Inspired Stampers group, you're welcome to come to our group gathering. That's on the third Tuesday of the month at 6.30 p.m. And then my one of my main reasons for telling you guys, because we have our next holiday stamp -a stack class on Thursday, October 25, from 6.30 to 9 p.m. And that holiday stamp -a stack is featuring, this is the Dashing Deer stamp set. I love this stamp set. We played with it a bunch at a creative, at creative convention last weekend, so I have lots of good ideas from there. There are so many awesome ideas out on Pinterest and everywhere else with this stamp set. It also has a set of framelits. So this class, the Dashing Deer holiday stamp -a stack class that happens on Thursday, October 25, I'm gonna peek at my notes, maybe I'm just bring them right over here. The class fee is $40 and it includes this dashing deer. It's a clear mount, oops, you can't see that, but red rubber, I'm using some of them already. Clear mount stamp set. Um, you can upgrade and get the thinlets, the detailed deer thinlets for an additional $33 fee for the Dashing Deer um, stamp -a stack class. We, um, <laughs> yeah, I do have so much going on. It's kind of mind boggling right now, Marianne. <laughs> um, that's why I'm always like talking, like tripping over my words because my brain is, <laughs> my brain is in a million places. Um, anyway, okay, so this stamp -a stack class, we're gonna make 12 cards, three each of four designs at this class. Oh, aren't you sweet? Yeah, well, we just keep going. You know, when we go to sleep, we all sleep really hard <laughs> because we've just been going and going and going, right? Um, okay, so did I tell you guys everything? The one thing I want you guys to know is maybe if you've already ordered this Dashing Deer stamp set, you can still participate in the stamp -a stack class. We can make a substitution. So the product value of this stamp set, you can always get something else if you still wanna come to the stamp -a stack class or if you wanna get the class to go kit. I'm gonna work on getting those all designed, so hopefully next Friday I'll have those to show you guys so you can see exactly what you'd get if you come to class locally or if you do the to go kit. Um, it's just an extra $5 fee to get a to go kit for that Dashing Deer stamp -a stack. Again, three, three um, each of four different designs, so you get 12 cards total, okay? Um, I think that's it, yeah. I think we're good, I think we're good. So yeah, that'll be coming up um, soon. And then at the very end of the month, always the last Tuesday of the month is the scrapbook and memory keeping, or are the scrapbook and memory keeping classes. Okay, so lots of good stuff going on in October. I have to give a quick plug too, because I know I mentioned it. Oops, I flipped too many. The weekend retreat is in Lansing, Michigan on November 16, 17, and 18. So if anybody's interested in that weekend retreat, let me know because I'd love to get you signed up. We're looking to try to get our numbers close to finalized. I do that with another friend of mine um, and she's a lot more on top of things than I am, <laughs> I have to say. So she's always like, Amy, how many people do you have? I don't know. Let me, I'll let you know, Melissa. So anyway, if you're interested, let me know. I'd love to get you signed up for that weekend retreat. Again, November 16, 17, and 18. Okay, so let's see. Um, oh, you guys want to see what we did at Creative Convention? That's what I'm like so excited to show you guys this stuff. So, um, and also, have you guys been enjoying the product of the week that I've been doing on Facebook Lives? I'd love to hear you, um, what you guys think about that. It's been really fun to kind of feature one product or kind of suite of products each week and then share a bunch of projects that relate to those. So kind of in conjunction with that, this um, set of cards that we made at Creative Convention features that product of the week, the Toil and Trouble suite of products. So can you see, this is on page 49 too in the holiday catalog. So there is, um, we did actually, well we did use some of the stamps from, and I'm gonna have to look it up because I'm drawing a blank on the name, but let's see, on page 49, I should have just pulled this out right now. 
yeah, so the Toil and Trouble Suite, you guys have seen lots of cute posts of these um, projects. So the, this is the Cauldron Bubble Stamp Set and then the matching cauldron framelits. And the really cool thing is these cauldron framelits also cut out a bunch of images in the Toil and Trouble Designer Series paper. So even if you, you like I kind of thought, you know, I don't know if I need this stamp set because I've got a lot of these cute images in the Designer Series paper, just get the framelits and then you can cut all these things out. So how fun is that? Plus there's that glittered organdy ribbon that we're giving away um, in next week's Facebook Live too. And then some really cute spider trinkets. Aren't those fun? So lots of good stuff. Ooh, that black foil paper is really, really cool too. So let me show you, these were just some of, like I said, we made, I think 24 different projects at Creative Convention. So here is one of the cards. This is the Bubble, Bubble, Toil and Trouble um, with some of the, I'm trying to remember, they're like a galvanized button and then some of the twine. Can you guys kind of see the button underneath there? And then this is what I was talking about with the um, framelit that just cuts out right out of the designer series paper. I did not color that. I don't think I'd ever be able to color that quite so perfectly, um, but that is designer series paper. And then here's more, some of that fun cat paper too. And then here's another one. Isn't this one cute? This one is the trick or treat with the little um, ghosts. And I love the purple around here too, with that more of the fun stars stamped around there. And then the cute ghost designer series paper. And then let's see, oh, this is kind of a fun one. I was supposed to color him in when I got home and I forgot. So this cute little cat, um, he'd probably be better if he were colored in. Um, but I love, we, we got a bolt of that um, braided linen trim in our kind of goodie bags too that we got to use all weekend more, I love. I've been having a lot of fun with that Toil and Trouble designer series paper. And then the bat punch too that coordinates also. And then, ooh, check out this little girl, this sweet, she's a sweet witch. Like, see, she's got a nice smile on her face, right? Um, but more of the stamping with those witch's brooms, right? The bat is kind of flying in the air. Here's another one of those buttons, too, with some black baker's twine. And then um, our little witch that we use the cauldron framelits to die cut right out of the designer series paper. Ooh, and then the corrugated, have you guys seen that? the corrugated embossing folder. Isn't that awesome? Ooh, I love it, love it, love it. So those were just a few of the projects. Let me show you, so I'm gonna kind of spread it out a little bit. I'm gonna show you another set of four projects. Actually, let me find, got my little note here too, in the catalog on page 33. And this is kind of a cool idea. So this is the Timeless Tidings stamp set. I'm gonna kind of, Zoom in here so you guys can see that. Oh, isn't that sweet? Thank you, Marianne. Now, I cannot take any credit for designing any of those, but I had lots of fun making them. Um, Rhonda designed them, and then she has um, helpers. Michelle Litwiller is one of her helpers, too, from Owl Star Stampers. You have to check out Michelle's um, blog and Facebook page, too, because she's got lots and lots of cute ideas. Um, but, okay, so check out this stamp set, the Timeless Tidings stamp set. So the kind of fun thing is that actually coordinates with this Timeless Tidings project kit, which is a beautiful card kit. I think it's on back order right now, so don't get too excited about this card kit. Give it a little bit of time. It'll be back in stock and better than ever. But in the meantime, you could always get this fun stamp set, um, like I said, that's meant to work with that Timeless Tidings stamp, or, um, project kit, but you don't have to use it that way. You could just get this stamp set because it's pretty awesome, right, and use it for other projects. So let me show you what I mean use it for other projects, what are those, right? So here's one of the cards, another one that we made. Oops, I'm gonna scoot those right over there so you can't see them until I'm ready to show you. So there's the Merry Christmas stamp and then the fun little dots with some of the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper we used on this, more of the buttons and then the braided linen trim. So cute and simple. And it is, it's fun to make the cute, simple cards. This one's beautiful too, isn't it? With more of the Joyous Noel Designer Series paper. And then check out, I'm trying to remember what these are called. Whatever it's called, I don't know. And I shouldn't lift that up too much because I put that on there with a glue dot. <laughs> I was originally think I had it, thinking I had it strung through my braided linen trim, but I don't. So let me just pop that right back over there so you don't even know that. So this is kind of fun too. Do you guys see? This braided linen trim, you can pull it apart and make it kind of fringy. 
So we did that with kind of the ends. And then here's our stamp that says, may the warmth of Christmas fill each corner of your heart and home. Isn't that sweet? But I love, like I said, I can't remember what these are called, but they're very, very pretty. They're big too. Can you guys kind of see in terms of scale? They're very good size. Yeah, and the trim has been lots of fun to play with, hasn't it, Marianne? Great for fall, Halloween, and then even this is great on this Christmas card too with some of the copper foil. I love that. And then the copper foil in the designer series paper as well. Okay, another fun one with more of our braided linen trim. We've got some of our red glimmer paper. And then this one says, sending good tidings of comfort and joy. And I really love, that's a beautiful font there too and the pretty scrolls. Um, let's see, are they very bulky? Well, I don't think so. I mean, they lay pretty flat. Can you, can you kind of see? If I lift that, I, it doesn't even matter if it comes off really, but can you kind of see how, I mean, I don't feel like, so when you're looking at it right here, does that kind of, can you kind of see? I mean, it, it lays pretty flat. I would think that you could put another piece. You guys know that, right? Have I shared that trick lately? Um, if you take another piece of cardstock and emboss it and then just kind of lay it flat on here so it kind of smooths all your bumps out, I think that you could mail this. The only thing is, you know, the flexibility of your envelope is going to be, well, it's not going to be quite as flexible with that in there. Um, so that's kind of iffy. I would say maybe you would want to get it hand canceled, um, put, put that little bit of extra postage on just to be sure. Um, but I, I feel like you could mail it, honestly. Maybe we just have to try it and see. And even then it's kind of hit or miss. But no, they're not super thick. I don't think if you can, I'm trying to make sure, see if you guys can really see. They're pretty thin though, I'd say. I mean, it's kind of like a um, paper clip in terms of thickness. Yeah, so not too bad. I think, I think you could do it. And then, okay, so this was the other card that we made, just sweet and simple, again, with more of the pretty designer series paper, the Joyous Noel, and then a little bit of sparkle. Can you guys see that little bit of red glimmer sparkle on that one? And then here, I love this one too. I love just even the simple details, um, like that teeny tiny little heart. Um, this is just a strip of copper foil, and then another strip back here of our braided linen trim. And then just totally separately, we made a bow. I kind of spread it apart a little bit too, can you see? So I kind of, I cut it in a strip and then I tried to kind of pull it apart so you could see the braiding a little bit more and then I tied it in my bow. And then we put a couple of sprigs back there too with another love, <laughs> aren't those fun, the little reindeer? And then this sentiment says, may the warmth of Christmas, oh yeah, same one, fill each corner of your heart and home. So such a pretty sentiment. I guess that's why she used it two times, right? On both of these cards. I love it though. So anyway, isn't that, this would be a great, this would be a great stamp as that class right here too. Cute, simple. You could kind of, um, gosh, we could put the designer series paper in there. Some of the braided linen trim, be fabulous. So yeah, anyway, so just, I wanted to kind of give you guys an idea of the fun that we have at this creative convention that I'm always telling you about. So I hope you guys enjoyed those cards. And let me, I'm gonna set this out here too. We have a new host code this month. Well, I just decided to start it a little bit early. So this is basically gonna be the host code for October, but make sure if you put any orders in starting like right this minute, use this host code. I will include it, I'll get it on my blog. And then obviously you have it right here. So it's the UCQEVD29. So that's the host code. If you use the other host code that's on my blog right now, that would be fine too, because that one's not closed out. But this will be the new one. So anyway, either way, use a host code, right? Either the one that's on my blog or use this one. You always um, get the projects that I demonstrate. I'm gonna do those in just a minute with a $30 online order. You're gonna get your name entered into the drawing to win that Hung With Care host stamp set. You're gonna get a free embellishment if you spend $50. Then you're also gonna get that sampler pack of the Dashing Along Designer Series paper. So lots and lots of good stuff. The DSP though, the Designer Series paper, you have to have your order in by September 30th. That's Sunday to get that sampler, okay? So bear with me one sec while I make sure like do 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 
just to make sure I have everything covered here. I think we are good. So let's go ahead and do our uh, stamping. Are you guys ready to see some stamping? So I have one kind of, I guess I would say, spoiler alert on the first project that I'm gonna do. This is actually, I'm trying to get my grid paper out here too. This first project I'm gonna show you guys is actually one of the table treats that everyone is gonna be receiving. So I didn't wanna show you everything, but I'm gonna show you a little bit of what people are gonna be receiving at the one day retreat tomorrow. So, all right, hold on. I need a quick sip of water too. Mm. Okay, so you guys ready? <clears throat> This is just a super sweet, simple, cute, fun little treat that everybody's gonna get. So this is, I think you guys, I don't know if I've shown this before or not, but it's called kind of the diaper fold technique, I guess I would say. And then you can put a sucker in here too. So I just poked a hole in the bottom of the paper and then these are one of the, it's a caramel apple pop. Can you see? I got these at Meyer. Um, I'm sure you can probably get them at Walmart also, um, but they come in like um, there's red, green, and kind of a mustard yellow um, wrapper. So it's just kind of fun to try to coordinate the colors of the wrappers with, um, uh, you know, the designer series paper. So, okay, let me show you sweet, simple, cute, fun little treat holder. Okay, so... Oh, I didn't think I was going to use my Big Shot, and now I'm like, wait a minute, I have framelits right here, so I have to run and grab my Big Shot. I'm going to do that. Actually, I'm going to do it right now. Okay, bear with me just a sec. I'm going to go get my Big Shot. One sec, one sec. Isn't that funny? It was such a simple project, I was thinking that I didn't need it, but that's how that goes sometimes, right? Okay, so you start with get these things situated here. Oh, do you guys want to see? This is the stamp set that we're using. It's called Peaceful Noel. And this stamp set we're actually using in the last stamp stat class that I'm going to be offering. Well, let me just tell you about that real quick while I'm thinking about it. So the last stamp stat class, the Peaceful Noel stamp stat class, it's not for a little while, not till Thursday, November 29 from 6.30 to 9 p.m. You can get the stamp set included in your class fee of $35. It is a lovely stamp set. Yes, it is, Marianne. Um, if you upgrade and get the Sprig Punch, it's an additional $17 fee. And as always, we're making 12 cards, three each of four designs. Oh, and yes, it does. Yes, it has that Sprig Punch that goes with it. So it's this punch that we used. Can you, can you kind of see those little, maybe you can see them better. So there's an example of the Sprig Punch. Here's maybe a little bit easier example. So this is actually three punches. So there's one copper right there and then one tranquil tide there and another one right there. So yeah, that's the punch that coordinates with this Peaceful Noel stamp set. Um, so yeah, and again, if you already have the stamp set or you already have the punch, you can always substitute for other stuff. And this will be offered as a class to go as well, but not until November. So. I'll keep you posted on that one, okay? So anyway, we are using, <laughs> the whole reason that I started out with this, the Noel stamp in the Peaceful Noel um, stamp set for our little project right here. The other fun sentiments say, fill the season with happiness. May your Christmas be holly, jolly, and bright, and merry little Christmas. So it is a beautiful stamp set. Okay, um, mm, 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 mm. what else do I wanna show you guys? Oh. We're using some of that braided linen trim. So this is that fun. So it's, it doesn't look like much at first, but it is kind of fun how it, can you kind of see how I pulled that apart, how easy that was to pull that apart? So you can kind of pull it all apart and make it kind of wider and you really be able to kind of see that braiding. Um, we have to have our other caramel apple pop there. And we are gonna use some cherry cobbler ink as well on our stamp. Okay, I think we have everything. So let's do our stamping and die cutting and then I'll show you how to put it together. So I just have a piece of, kind of a scrap piece of Whisper White cardstock. We're gonna stamp our Noel stamp in Cherry Cobbler ink. Put that guy right on there. And then we're gonna use the oval framelits to die cut these things. Okay, scoot him out of the way. We need these guys here. Grab the big shot. 
open this guy up and then with my layering oval framelits i put these three back here so i know which ones i need let's see if we have any chance of figuring out sizes because this is my jumbled mess well, let's see these are all too big so i know those aren't going to play any part in it okay so for the scallop edge you need not the smallest but the second smallest and the third smallest and then for the straight edge right here so that's the smallest you need the second smallest straight edge okay second smallest straight edge second and third smallest um, scallop edge okay those are the sizes you need to um, kind of make this layering right here with so I've got two scallops and then um, the Noel is in the straight edge okay makes sense hopefully I think it makes sense to me too <laughs> you never know these days okay so we're gonna pop this guy right on here and then the actually the cherry cobbler is our largest scallop edge and then I'm using garden green because literally so this is mossy meadow cardstock on here because that's mossy meadow in the designer series paper I have used every single scrap piece of mossy meadow cardstock for um, the one day retreat so I had to move on I'm using garden green here instead of mossy meadow but we're also using a different um, well I guess it's not a different pack of designer series paper but it's kind of a different look um, one of the different, a different pattern in the festive farmhouse designer series paper is what I'm trying to say, I think. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, there. Okay, so we got that done. Now this is, so it's kind of fun because actually it features very vanilla in this piece of designer series paper and then those stars as well. But on this one, it's more of a whisper white. Can you tell? Especially right there, I can really see it. So that's why I thought these worked well together then, right? To kind of layer all these right on here. So let's put these together while I'm thinking about it and before I move everything around and like lose something, okay? So we're gonna put the Noel right on our garden green piece, our scallop oval, and then our garden green scallop oval goes on our cherry cobbler and dimensionals. I wanna put one of these right on the back there. Okay, so that's all ready to go. Okay, so super simple. This is a piece of designer series paper that measures six inches by six inches, okay? So all we're gonna do is, this isn't the diaper fold quite yet, I don't think. You're just trying to meet those corners, kind of line those corners up. And where's my bone folder? I'm gonna just do this right there and then i figured out i kind of after a little bit of it not working out quite so well when i this is my diaper fold now right so when i take this point i'm gonna um try to line it up what did i figure it's not a half of six it's actually it's not three but at three and a half so i'm going to take this point and i'm going to line it up at about three and a half inches and then i'm going to use my bone folder okay and then this one just folds back over on the other side. We'll use our bone folder right there, okay? So I'm gonna make sure those folds are all good. So that's kind of the diaper fold, right? When you just do that and that, right? So super simple. And then you don't even have to use adhesive either because then this piece just flips right down there and holds it all, and it will. So it kind of pops up right now. But when you take your paper snips, so just be careful because you don't want to hurt yourself, but you're going to kind of, and you know what, it doesn't matter if it's totally perfect, but I just kind of put a little slit. You can see that coming through right there just so that I can get my sucker kind of pop through because you don't want it to be too big and falling out, right? So there's that. And then we just add our little tag, our little Noel. And do you see how that's staying down now that the um, sucker is in there? And then there's our Noel. So look at how cute. So aren't they, oh no, I'm not quite done. I gotta add my little, my um, braided linen trim bow. So we're just gonna make our bow, and then I can show you how cute and simple they are. But you can already get that idea, right? Because you've seen me make it now. Okay, snip that guy off. Oh, I forgot my glue dots. Well, 
imagine that I had a glue dot and I'm gonna put that right about there and then I'm gonna slide this one in and I'm gonna say, look at how cute those treats are, how cute and simple and easy they are to make. So you could do these for really about any holiday, any occasion. Um, I think they'd be super fun for Halloween if you made them um, in Halloween designer series paper. If you have just a fun, um, if you're just having a party or something, you wanna make them this time of year, you could use your fall designer series paper. Um, they'd be fun for like baby showers and wedding showers. Um, so any occasion, whatever the occasion is, just find some designer series paper that kind of coordinates with these flat, I would say, just need to find a flat sucker, basically. You could find lots of really cute ones, I'm sure with like, you know, the, the circle with the fun stripes in them or something. Find some cute colors and then get your designer series paper to match and you'll have You'll have super cute treats. So that is one of the projects and one of the, um, we call them table treats. Since they're not pillow gifts because you're not spending the night at the one day retreat. So we call them table treats because they're on your table when you get there or maybe you get one um, later in the day. So that's our first treat um, project I wanna show you. So, and then let's see the other one. Okay. Oh, okay. So another sneak peek alert, I guess I'm going to say, because with the next project we're going to, I'm going to show you guys features. Thank you, Marianne, for the share. I really appreciate that. Oh, what, what are you saying that you're going to have to use the idea for your Sunday school class? That is perfect. That's the perfect idea. And you can see how, you know, I don't know how many kids are in the Sunday school class, but you can make a bunch of them in really no time at all. And um, with a 12 by 12 sheet of designer series paper, you can get four treats out of each one of each piece of designer series paper. So the pa a little paper goes a long way too. So, okay, so now I wanna show you guys. So this is the Making Christmas Bright stamp set. Hi Margie, how are you? Oh my gosh, it's good to have you join us. I hope you're doing okay. Um, Let's see, so this is the stamp set that we're using in the Stamp-A-Stack class that we're doing on Saturday, so on tomorrow. So this is my sneak peek alert. If you're coming to class tomorrow and you don't wanna see the projects that we're making, don't watch this part of the video, okay? Um, it's not a big deal, right? Then you just have a little preview because then you'll be all ready to go to make these fun projects tomorrow. Um, but okay, so this is the first one. I feel like I probably have shown you guys this one because this is, the only one that I had made <laughs> ahead of time, and I'm gonna make sure that's not the case with the next two Stampa Stacks. Um, but anyway, this is the one that I use for lots of marketing on the Making Christmas Bright Stampa Stack class. So you will get all the parts and pieces to make these cards too if you've got the to-go kit version, okay? So this is one of the cards. Can you guys see? And it features, this is part of the All is Bright designer series paper. Oh, you know what else I have to, do I have that? Did, did you guys see, maybe I didn't bring it over here with me, but so my tip of the week um, from my friend Sabina Miller, she brought it into the stamp studio and I was so excited to show you guys, but I don't know, I don't think I brought it over here. Well darn. So check out my tip of the week from last week. These doilies right here, can you see, we really are only using kind of the outside edge of that doily. So there's a whole bunch of doily, well, you can kind of see I'm pulling this all apart. But there's a whole bunch of doily in there that is not even getting used. So that was her tip, was to kind of snip around the inside part of this doily. And you can use that for something else, because then all you really see is that outside edge on this one, right? So if you come to class tomorrow, snip out the inside of the doily, because it's covered up, right? And you can save it for another project. So I thought that was a really fun idea. Um, but okay, so that's one of the cards we're making in this what's it called making christmas bright oh, i've got some notes on there oh okay got to make sure to keep that there for class tomorrow uh, making christmas bright holiday stamp a stack this is another fun one right may your christmas be and it says merry and bright with the little light bulb shining and i love the the um, silver glimmer paper can you guys see that okay next one simple ones too i tend to make some simple, I did, this one obviously has a bunch of detail and if you do too many of these in a stamp -a class, people kinda go crazy. So we do a couple more complicated and a couple more simple. So this is just fun with the stamping, right? It's just got that cute little wreath with a bunch of um, stars stamped in different colors. So we gotta make sure to clean our stamp off. That's kind of like the no-no in um, classes is to use one stamp in multiple colors because you know what's gonna happen. This 
bright or dark green is going to end up in my um, coastal cabana. Hopefully not, but okay. So then this is the actual project that I'm going to show you guys today. I'm going to demonstrate this one. Hi, Amy Jo. How are you? We'll see you tomorrow at the retreat. I'm looking forward to having you join us. Um, okay, so this card I'm going to show you because I love, okay, can you see? This is some of the... What is, I think it's called Santa's Workshop Designer Series Paper, but can you see those cute little elves all like making their presents and carrying them probably off to Santa's sleigh? And then I love this, may your Christmas be bright. So it's two different stamps, I'll show you that. So let's make this card, okay? Um, scoot all that stuff out of the way, here we go. So I don't think we need that stamp set any longer. I think I've got what I need. And okay, so let's get all the parts and pieces here. I've got my chamois. I always am like, I have this note here that says use the chamois each week and half the time I forget. So maybe today I will remember. Okay, scooting stuff, lots and lots of things here. Oh, that's why I have the chamois because I need to clean that off. Well, not on this one, I guess. We'll be all right. Okay, so we've got our stamps. Here we go, one more, there. Okay, and we're actually using a punch. No uh, framelit work today. Okay, so why don't we do our stamping? This is just a scrap piece of paper to do this circle punch, or yeah, circle, and it is a punch. Ooh, oh my goodness. Has that ever happened to you guys before? I think, um, <laughs> well, these are the old ink pads. Maybe this is why, <laughs> this is why they redesigned them. I know I've never had that happen to me before. Now look, I've got ink all over, but it got a little bit broken somewhere in use along the way. So that's why normally they don't pop out quite that easy, but okay. Well, let's see if we can get this popped back in. I did kind of notice that that happened the other night. If not, let's see. And who, oh, oh, Marianne says she loves the card. Thank you. <laughs> I love it too, just because those little guys are so cute. So under pressure on Facebook Live, I may not be able to get this. There we go, back in. Ha ha, I did. Okay, so, woo, carefully. Mm -hmm. Where's my chamois? I need to wipe my fingers on it. Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Okay, I am gonna do that. I guess you can, you can probably wipe your stamps and you can wipe your fingers there, just so I don't get a bunch of ink where I don't need it, right? Okay, so we're gonna use this little wreath in our Coastal Cabana ink. I love, I don't know if you guys remember, so back when Coastal Cabana was an in color, actually I'm gonna keep that open, um, they paired the Coastal Cabana and Real Red in a bunch of Valentine projects, so kind of in our occasions catalog that year, and I loved that color combination with the Real Red and Coastal Cabana. So when I saw it kind of used, and actually I cheated because really the coordinating color in this designer series paper is Poppy Parade, but I realized that after I put this card together. So I think you can make Poppy Parade look like Real Red when you need it to. So yeah, but like I said, I love Poppy Parade and Real Red together, so that's what we're doing. Okay, and now we have our shaded spruce ink that says, may your Christmas be. We're gonna stamp that right in there, and then we're gonna stamp the bright in our real red. Okay, grab our bright stamp. Get that lined up well enough, right? Oh, I love that font too, that pretty cursive. Super, super cute. Okay, now what else? Okay, we also need this piece of Whisper White cardstock. I'm gonna kind of lay this on here for reference so I know about where to stamp. Where is it? Here we go, this kind of string of lights. So we're gonna ink this guy up, okay? And I have to put that, I think I did cover it a little bit, but that looks about like what I wanna do. Every card's a little bit different and unique. Oop, getting a little tickle in my throat. It's coming up on that time of year when it's gonna be dry, right? Okay, and then with our little heart stamp, I'm gonna just stamp a few of these. So I'm gonna stamp that guy off a little bit. We're gonna put one there. We're gonna put one there and maybe one down there. I think that's about all I did. Maybe one more I feel like is right about there. So we'll see how those all end up. But those can just kind of be randomly stamped on there. And then 
let's see, we can kind of put these, ooh, and check out. So here, this is how you can tell the difference between, I don't wanna, I've got a note on here. Oh, I know, it's for class. But here, you can see the difference in real red, and then this is Poppy Parade. So it's a little bit more kind of like orange tomato-y, I think, like the um, Poppy Parade is. It's funny, because it is super bright um, normally, but this one, this one's just a little bit more of a true Crayola crayon red. I love both of them, but I think you can, you know, you can bend the red in this designer series paper to be what you need it to be, basically. Okay, so I didn't actually ever put any adhesive on there because I got too excited to show you guys that color. Don't put them on upside down because that would be kind of funny, right? So that just goes right along there. So I'm going to add some more adhesive to... Our whisper white piece oh measurements too you guys want to know these I bet okay let's talk about that so this whisper white piece this is three and oh Miriam what, what are you saying you probably don't want to mix the colors too much yeah I probably wouldn't put like real red and poppy parade together but with just that little bit of red on here that's what I was saying I think you can make it be either real red or poppy parade and it works so, but yeah, I wouldn't put those together too much. Okay, so measurements. Let's see, we've got three and three eighths along this side. I gotta make sure, make sure that's lined up just right. And then this one is gonna be four and five eighths, okay? Because then our Coastal Cabana is just an eighth of an inch bigger at three and a half by four and three quarters, okay? So we're gonna pop this guy right on here. So you just barely see like a little hint of our coastal cabana behind there. Now I'm going to add more adhesive because I've got kind of two layers that I want to put on my actual card base. And you guys know this, right? Oh my goodness. I have to show you just in case there's anybody new watching. We have our card base, our real red card base, right? That measures our eight and a half by 11. So we cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half inches, right? slide that over and then we scored it along the eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches right there make our fold in our card right oh oh nancy says i froze maybe you froze nance i don't know i think hopefully i feel like everybody's good did it freeze for anybody else um but i'm glad you're back you can catch up too nance wherever you left off. So we're gonna put both of those right there. And then you guys need to know this piece is one inch wide by this was um, from here to here was four and five eighths, I think. Am I ever gonna, how could I figure that out for you guys? I'm sure that's what it was. Yeah, four and five eighths, cause this was four and three quarters. So the weight is four and five eighths. So one inch, well, one inch by four and five eighths is that little strip. And basically you just wanna cut it I think it's about one inch. Yeah, it's one inch. <laughs> um, so that you you see those little guys all the way across, right? Because you don't want like it cut funny. So get it about one inch there and it'll be good. Okay, so now, good. Okay, so Marianne, yeah, you said you're good there. Nance, I wonder if it isn't um, something on your phone or computer. Okay, did I tell you this? I'm getting way sidetracked. Two and a quarter inch circle punch. Fits perfectly around there so you get a little bit of white to kind of show around the edges of your wreath, right? And then we're gonna grab our dimensionals. Put a couple of those guys on. Oh boy, mess, I've got a mess here, ladies, but that means we're having fun, right? And I'm gonna pop that guy maybe right about there. And then the last little bit is a couple of, so these are the metallic pearls in the silver. So I'm just gonna pop a couple of these guys off. Every time I do this, I'm like, ooh, I need to show you guys my take a pick tool and I keep forgetting because I usually just use my fingers honestly but sometimes people need a little something to help get these off of here and onto here and the pick, take a pick tool would be perfect one of these days I'm going to remember to show you guys that so anyway okay there is our next project may your Christmas be bright well, hi, Sandra. How are you? I've missed you. Well, you're going to have to catch the, the replay, I think. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, because I think we are about done, actually. So let me give a quick recap um, on what we've seen today and what's going on. And scoot this stuff out of the way, right? Okay, so here we go. Make sure, let me get all my parts and pieces 
around here. And this, and there's one more thing. Where is the other? Here it is. Okay, so you guys know, right? Know the drill. If you put at least a $30 online order in, hi, Sandra, how are you? Um, by next Wednesday, you are going to get these two projects that I just demonstrated on Facebook Live, right? And your name goes in the drawing to win the Hung with Care host stamp set, right? And then I'm throwing in an additional, you get a sample of, let's see if I can get these pulled apart, the All is Bright, no, no, this is the dashing, the dashing along designer series paper, you get a sampler of this if you put an order in by September 30th, right? Like I said, to kind of help me meet that last ditch sales goal push that I'm trying to do. Um, this is kind of an extra thing that you're going to get in your thank you package. And then if you spend at least $50, you also get a free embellishment. So look at all of that free stuff, right? You could win the Hung With Care stamp set. You get the, ma or the projects I demonstrated. You get a sample of the Dashing Along Designer Series paper. You get a free embellishment if your order is over $50. So lots and lots of good stuff. This is the new host code. I'm not super worried about it. If you use this one, great. If you use the one that's on my blog right now, um, whichever one, use one of those host codes, put your order in, get the free stuff. Thank you so much for your support of my Stampin' Up! business, for watching Facebook Lives and participating. I just love having each and every one of you be a part of things. So thank you so much for watching. Sandra, I'm sorry you're coming on late. Um, like I said, hope everything's good with you and we'll see you guys next week. Bye everybody. Have a good weekend.